In this video, I'll be talking about the subtle differences with submitting a ticket through the web interface versus email and why using the web interface is important to streamlining your help desk operations. Regardless of how users submit tickets, you need a request type to properly route the ticket. A request type can be associated to a tech group or no group. The request type determines how a ticket is routed to the appropriate tech so he or she can resolve the problem. A tech group is typically a group of techs who work on similar issues, or request types. Techs can be included in one request type. For example, if you have a bunch of request types that address networking issues, you can configure all of your networking techs into a tech group called networking, with junior techs assigned to level 1 and senior techs assigned to level 2 to address escalations. However, if a request type is not associated with any tech group, the ticket will automatically be assigned to the lead tech of that request type. When clients submit tickets via email, Web Help Desk parses the email content and converts it to a ticket. All such tickets have a request type that's configured for a given email account. If you have a generic Help Desk account, such as helpdesk at company.com, then all requests will be manually triaged by the group manager and reassigned to the correct text. When clients submit tickets in this way, you'll have extra work in assigning email tickets. For sensitive requests, such as requests sent to HR, you can create a separate incoming email account with an HR request type and a tech group that only addresses HR requests, for example, hr at mycompany.com. This process restricts sensitive requests to a tech group that other groups cannot access. For requests processed by email, the client is always identified by their email address, whether the login attribute for client is set to username or email. Here, you'll want to make sure that you configure your email options correctly for your organization. To enable Web Help Desk to create accounts for all unique email addresses, click Setup, select Email, and then click Options. In the Incoming Email section, select Yes for Create Accounts for Unrecognized Senders. This option is not enabled by default. If you don't have any clients imported or added to Web Help Desk and you are not receiving email requests, ensure that this option is selected. One huge advantage of having clients submit their requests to the client user interface is that you can require them to provide additional details to route the request to the appropriate tech group. For example, you can require them to select a request type and any subsequent child types, or select a location, which ensures the ticket gets assigned to the right tech or group after all the filters are applied, especially if you're using location groups. You can also prompt them to input data into custom fields for a particular request type. For example, you may have a request type named Software and require clients to select their request from a choice of operating systems. The client can also choose the specific asset type that applies to their request. When your techs have the information they need to understand the issue, they can resolve customer requests in a timely manner. Prompting clients to use the web interface helps you streamline your help desk operations by reducing the number of interactions required between the client and tech to troubleshoot and resolve the issue.